I think next year is looking a lot tougher than this year. I think what we've seen over the past couple of weeks is a preview of what could happen if rates go up. And if we see economic growth continue the way it has, we, rates are going to keep going up. And I think we have to recognize that the market is going to have to adjust in 2019 looks like the year. So what is, quantify that for me. So what, what type of, uh, you, it's going to be a down year for the stock market? It's going to be a, a mid-single digit up year for, for most stocks? What, what's it look like? At this point, I think flat is most likely. And I think the way to look at that is to see what happens to valuations versus earnings growth. You know, we're looking at earnings growth maybe in the 10 to 15 percent range. And if we look at valuations tick down a little bit closer to what they've been historically, that would pretty much offset that growth. So I think flat plus or minus 5 percent. There's an upward bias, maybe up a little bit, but I don't think we're going to see a lot of growth. Do you think that the deregulation that we've seen since the election and the, the uh, lower corporate taxes, repatriation, you think that's all been paid forward? We've already gotten the benefit of that? I think when you look at valuations, certainly we're valuing the market at 100% and then some on expected earnings growth. We see the earnings growth drop off. We're starting to see the economy turn. If you look at housing, for example, that's rolling over. So we're not going to have kind of super growth to back us Why up. Not? Why and not? All of that rates are still low. Uh, you know, you've got uh, co corporate confidence. You've got maybe some business investment ready to come, although maybe it wasn't in the last GDP. What's not, when you, when you unleash the private sector, or at least make it friendlier in terms of, you know, corporate taxation and regulation, why don't you get more than one year of, of better business activity? You, I guess you don't think we're going to grow at 3% for very long. I don't. And the reason I say that is when you look at business investment, you actually see, even though you see business confidence up over the past several quarters, and that includes the post-tax cut period, you're actually seeing investment, business investment growth track down. So I'm not saying it won't grow. I'm just saying it won't grow at the rates that everyone's expecting, unless we get a substantial reversal. And even there, when you look at consumer confidence, we're at the highest level in over 18 years. You know, these are the people that buy. These are the customers. How much more confident can they get? And I'm just not sure there's that much room for growth. What if there. it doesn't go down? Why, so all we get is, is, is one year of decent GDP growth. All we get is one year of, uh, you know, we've already seen it in the stock market after, after all that. I mean, we went through eight years where you didn't get a lot of pro growth. I mean, as I always say, you know, I know we had cash for clunkers. But other than cash for clunkers, what pro growth initiatives did you see in the last administration? You didn't see much. The administration was basically occupied with managing the post-crisis environment. And now, conceivably, we could get much more of a bounce.